Okay folks, this is how the car looks like after all the accessories are in place. So you can see the steering cover uh, that has been installed. Uh, it's not from Nexa, it's uh, from an outside place, but uh, the grip is really nice. It is uh, good, thick, soft. Uh, and uh, I think it was about 1200 rupees. Uh, this is the cup holder. Uh, it has a small notch uh, here uh, you can pull out and it locks and then you can put your phone here these are flexible uh, you can close it if it's not being used the air vent is completely free of obstruction uh, it, the, the cup holder does come in a way a little bit but you will still get the air uh, the cup holder also has these four small flaps rubber flaps just to keep your drink from shaking and it has a padded bottom so uh, it's not resting against this plastic it's uh, it has a lip on the lip there is a pad uh, here if you see and you can put your stuff here. it's quite a big uh, holder uh, i have tried to keep a samsung s23 and an iphone 14 pro max here uh, with this notch open and it fits just fine uh, the tpms you have already seen uh, the inclinometer I have already explained shows you the direction, voltage, time, altitude, pitch roll, latitude, longitude, speed and it also has a uh, doze off alarm so if you're trying to doze off and it detects that it will sound an alarm that you need to stop and rest that's a good feature that I found uh, Ganesh ji as usual always there uh, you have uh, the standard media entertainment unit. This is my RAM mount. Uh, really one solid piece of equipment. And uh, you can adjust this to various... Uh, you can just open this screw and then you can, you know, bring it here and tighten it. You can put it in landscape, motor it. So you can see the arm below it and you can keep it anywhere you want, right? So. I usually keep it here at this position so yeah, you can tighten it and once it is tightened it will stay that place and you have the other cup holder uh, same as the right one and you can see there is uh, enough space it doesn't touch there is no problem in movement and uh, from the driver's seat, if you look, uh, I, I don't find there is a problem in the rear view mirror also. So, you know, you can, you can see there's hardly any problem. Uh, the dash cam uh, obviously is working, both front and rear views. Uh, the wiring is concealed, like I told you. And uh, the last upgrade that is remaining is for the cabin lights to be changed to LED so uh, I have uh, removed the lens very simple uh, there are two notches here if you see uh, I, I think you can see uh, there is a notch here yeah this one and then there is a notch here so insert a flat uh, screwdriver with a piece of cloth and you can actually just pull it out slowly and then it reveals uh, it reveals these two places, uh, two prongs in which there is a fin, there is a, there is a bulb here which is the old style bulb, uh, festoon it is called, festoon bulb, it is 31 mm long, so when you buy you need to buy a 31 mm long LED festoon bulb, uh, once that comes today evening I will be putting that and closing this back, uh, apart from that, uh, we have the shroud uh, you can see i've kept a small cigarette lighter charger here for use there's a net uh, there's a net uh, pocket and similar to that there's a net pocket and a solid pocket here uh, this space where i've kept a charging cable can also be used to slide in a phone so so you don't really need to uh, you know put a phone holder like this if you don't want to uh, then we have the tray uh, this is the tray 
uh, for people who haven't seen it earlier so this is the tray it has two pockets on the side you can see the slot here you can slide a phone here and you can also slide a phone in this side here uh, this this part here and this is hard plastic but it, it seems to be some matte finish it doesn't scratch so easily uh, finally i will show you the armrest so the armrest is a very simple armrest so it opens up and to reveal this compartment and another compartment down below uh, there are rubber stoppers here to stop it from shaking similarly you have two rubber stoppers on this side also so you can shut this down and then you can shut this down as well so there are two rubber stoppers on top also so you can shut this down this is sliding as you can see and this is uh, some synthetic kind of material not too deep not too much of padding but solves the purpose uh, there is a bottle holder behind and this entire contraption is is very simple actually you can just uh, hold it and pull it out it's that simple so it just goes and sticks there and there's nothing to tighten or there are no screws to put you can just slide it in and it goes and sits there i what i am planning to do is just to make it a little more stable uh, if you see this edge here this edge here around around this i had planned to put some double tape here and then i'll plan to put it in so the double tape will stick here around the border and uh, keep it from coming out so easily like i just did uh, it also has these three ports here and three ports here uh, any one of these ports can be supplied uh, the power from our front usb port that's down there below and then the other five ports get power so you just pick it up and you just slide it down and it goes and fits that's it uh, doesn't shake or rattle uh, but yeah it's a little loose so that double tape should take care of that uh, that's i think about it guys this is what all i have installed uh, till now uh, i'm just waiting for the two festoon bulbs to come and then i think we are done thank you